before we do get into today's video, I want to let you guys know if you haven't followed me on Instagram, I'll put the link in the description below. Go give me a follow, but I did replace the uh, headlights recently that I haven't uploaded aside from a picture on Instagram. Factory headlights, they are Nissan. I had to make sure, I actually did not verify that with the seller before I made the hour and a half drive to go get them. But they are, in fact, Nissan headlights. Um, they're, of course, 15 plus years old. So I had to do a complete restoration on them on the lens. Came out spectacular. They do have, of course, the uh, little bit of stress fractures in the lens, but that's 15 plus years old. So they came out ridiculously amazing. And they look way better, in my opinion, than the Depots, Depot headlights, that is. Now it just completely ties in the whole Nismo look that I'm going for. Um, the only thing left I need to do on the exterior before I do a full respray, this hatch is completely the wrong color. But the right angle, this is KY0 and this is, I have no clue what that, that color code is, don't remember, but it is big difference in some sunlight angles. Um, but I need to get that paint matched. Um, replace the the weather strip around the rear windshield. I want to replace the rear turn signals with factory ones and then finally get the mesh on the rear bumper to complete that. I do need to replace this tail light starting to hold a little bit of water. You guys can see that that little line right there. The other one brand new. This one not so much but if you can see there that hatch. If you, if you stand the right way you can't really tell. Like right here I don't really tell on the camera but that, definitely tell. <laughs> but it's a car. At the end of the day, it's just a car, it's just money, and both of them will come and go. It's a little hot today. Oh, God. Oh, it's a lot hot. Go ahead and zoom that thing out. Ooh, it's fogging up the lens. Okay, clean lens. Today we're going to be uh, driving the Z for the first time on camera so you guys can hear the new exhaust. Quick side note, I got the uh, 06208 door panels installed both sides and got the Z-Spec door handle uh, garnish or finishers, whatever you want to call them. Super nice. If the camera will focus, I don't understand why it's not focusing. But we're going to be driving the Z today and uh, getting some sound clips. So before I melt in this godforsaken hot vehicle, let's start it up cold so you guys can hear it. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that at all, but definitely hear a lot of engine noises which is normal for the VQ. So I'm gonna let it cool off. And I'll catch you guys on the road here. All right, currently doing 50 and six gear. Uh, once we get up to more open road, I'll downshift to a fourth a third and let you guys hear it. But uh, it's definitely, definitely nice. All right, so I'm in fourth gear. I'll just roll into it. Third. Yeah, definitely going to third. 
guys. So what do you guys think as far as the um, exhaust noise? Right now the windows are up, the AC is halfway up on speed. Um, it is very, very toasty here in Florida. Right now I think it's 91 and it's only 1230 or maybe 90, but it's only 1230. But as far as the exhaust goes, I know I keep bringing this up. Obviously, it's an exhaust video. I really do like how this performs. It's very mild, almost transparent in a way um, when cruising. And then when you get on it, it unleashes. I mean, this is no performance car in my opinion yet. It's got full bolt-ons and it, it definitely moves. So I'm not disappointed in the car, but now I thoroughly enjoy how it sounds. It's not causing my ears to bleed in, in a sort of way. You know, I'm definitely happy in driving the car on a daily basis now before I kind of fretted over driving it because it was so obnoxious. You know, having a Tomei is cool and all, and it sounds good at first, but you know, daily driving, no cats, no muffler, it's just the Tomei system that, that comes with it. Everything else is deleted, basically. It's obnoxious. Uh, even at cruise, you know, at 70, your this car is 2,500 RPM, maybe 2,600. Um, I'm pretty sure it's been geared by the, by the previous owner. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely not pleasant with a Tomei. Uh, but with this Greddy SP, Muffler in the rear, stock mid pipe, Z1 stainless steel Y pipe, and Manzo test pipes. Completely different animal. Let me know what you guys think about this. If it sounds good, if you can even hear it in the video, I won't know obviously till editing. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and we will see you guys on the next one.